Hello Sky. What did you guys think of this? This, is an an this was the animated one that was experimental with just kind of the wavy musical, almost maybe human-esque kind of flickers and flashes. I, I like the way, it, in fact, as it started, I thought that was part of the uh, motif of the, of the uh, studio. And then it suddenly becomes the, uh, all these amoeba floating around. Mm -hmm. And I expected it to end up as being a male and female form dancing. That's how I expected it to end, but it you know, continued in a different, uh, a nice, a very nice conclusion, actually. So it's an experimental piece, which means it doesn't necessarily need to tell you anything. It's to be experienced. The thing that struck me the most visually was the seeming influence of the visual artist Escher. Ah. There were a lot of moments that seemed influenced by his work. Um, or allegorically relating to his work, maybe in movement. Um, it was very well placed right after Gray and, and right before the next piece, so it kind of created a nice little through line between those two. But overall, it seemed more experimental than animated, right? Like, maybe I'm splitting hairs, but I would, I would classify it more as an experimental project than an animated project because well, and also the thing that struck me was it seemed like it was a blend of styles of animation, which was really cool. Did anyone get a Fantasia vibe? Yeah, I definitely got that, that whole idea of the, the experimental behind the picture. I, I looked at it and thought it had a lot of natural intuities to it. They were abstract, but I thought of falling snow. I thought of blowing wind. I thought of water in currents. That's kind of where it made me think. But although there were no actual overt na nature symbols in it, nature elements, I just kind of got that feeling. And then they kind of played a bit of a humanoid, too. I was reminded of, uh, of Norman McLaren's work.